Hi everyone, this is Mike Bond with Hard Money Mike. Today we're gonna to go over second mortgages on your real estate investment properties. What they are, what they can be used for, and why they're an important tool in real estate investing. Everyone in real estate investing sooner or later is gonna need some extra money. It may be for their next project, it may be just to pay some things down so they can get their next project. Whatever that is, it'll require a second mortgage on a property that they already have. It may be a rental or maybe a flip or maybe a property that's on the market. So technically, what are they? They're just another mortgage behind your first mortgage that you have on your property. So if you already have a first mortgage and if you have good equity, meaning you're under 80% on the loan to value, you can look at a second mortgage. Second mortgages are a powerful tool for real estate investors because it unlocks the equity that is trapped either the rentals or the flips. So we know what a real estate second is. It's just a mortgage behind a current mortgage you have but what are the uses and what are real estate investors using these seconds for? The main use is to finish a project like a flip so they can get it on the market and get it finished before selling season's over. Another thing is a rental property. Maybe they've had a rental property for a while. They need to upgrade it. They need to finish it so they can refinance it or maybe even sell it to another investor. We've seen these finish the project loans on properties that were inherited, that they already have a very good mortgage, a first mortgage on it. They just need enough money to fix it up to sell it, rent it, or do whatever they want. It's not only tapping that equity for to finish a project, but it's also tapping it to buy your next project. A lot of real estate investors are finishing up a project. They want to keep their crews working. They want to keep them busy. They want to keep their money coming in, so they need to buy the next project. But all of their equity, all of their money is tied up in the property that's either about to be listed or is listed or maybe under contract. That's where a second mortgage comes in. They can put a lien on the property that is for sale and even cross it with the one they're buying so they could get into the next project. When that property sells, it's paid off and now their money just moves to their next project. Another thing that's becoming more and more popular is the raise your credit score loan, usage loan, whatever you wanna call it. We have people calling in saying they are just missing the credit score cutoff for their next loan, maybe they have a 678 and they need a 680. And the only thing that's holding them back is their credit card usage, meaning they're using all their personal credit cards to pay for everything on their projects, driving down their scores. So a second mortgage is a great way to pay those credit cards off, raise your score and get into your next project. Another reason is just to cash out, get some money that you need for other business purposes. Maybe you have a very low loan to value property that is either selling, being refinanced, and you just need quick cash. A second mortgage is a great way to tap into that equity and put it into cash and back into your business. So seconds can be a very good tool on tapping into that equity so you could use it in your other projects, cash out, pay down those credit cards, whatever it is to make sure you're more successful in real estate investing. Where do you find them? Some banks and credit unions do offer HELOCs up to 65 or 70 percent on investor properties. So if you have a property that has that kind of equity, that's your number one go-to source, local credit unions and or local banks. Second is real hard money lenders like us who are flexible, who understand real estate investing. We're not fitting all of our loans into one box. We will be flexible figuring out maybe it's a second, maybe it's a third, as long as the equity is there and there is a way to pay it off, real hard money lenders are going to be there and help you in these circumstances. Last is just finding what I call real private money. If you're ever into finding and helping people in your community because they need a better return also. You could help them, they could help you. Someone who has 25 or 50 maybe in their checking or an IRA. Sooner or later, all investors have to tap into other people's money, real people's money. If you need help, want to tap into that equity, reach out to us. Our email is below. We'll be glad to help. If you're looking for all the lending options that are out there for fix and flip and rentals, check out this download below. Thanks for joining us. If you want to keep the money train rolling, we'll see you on the next video.